why is my graphite crucible in my oven? Well, that's because it's brand new and there's directions that came with it that says any crucible that is set for an extended period of time needs to be slowly heated up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then continuously to 1000. So today I'm going to be using my brand new crucible. If you saw last week's video, you can see that the crucible was in pretty bad shape and I was kind of risking using it. And that would be this one right here. I melted a bunch of soda pop pull tabs. And by the looks of it, yeah, I don't even want to risk it one more time. That's it. These are the same size number three crucibles and they were both purchased from the same manufacturer. So you could see one of them is smaller. I don't know if that's because it degraded over time or because they just made it differently. But in my experience, they do degrade. I'm going to melt down an ingot that I made a few weeks ago when I melted beach chairs. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check the link in the description below. So I'm gonna start the furnace. I'm gonna start it on a low temperature. I'm gonna slowly get it up to a thousand degrees. And while I'm waiting for it to heat up, I'm gonna head into the garage. Today I'm going to be doing a lost foam casting of the Heinrichs made recycle symbol. I'm going to be doing two of these today. I did a video about a year ago making one of these recycling soda can tops. At that time, I made three patterns. So these are the two patterns that I did not cast from a year ago. I'm currently working on a new pattern for Thanksgiving, and you can see that here, a little sneak peek. This is something I'm going to be trying to make before Thanksgiving. So make sure you come back to the channel and check out that video when I get that one posted. I think this is a pretty cool pattern. I just need to put a feeder on the top and do another coat of the wall plaster to it. Here is the lost foam casting process if you're new to the channel. You take your foam pattern that I have coated with wall plaster or drywall mud, and you bury it in a bucket filled with dry sand. The sand has to be dry. If the sand was wet, the moisture would affect the foam pattern and it could actually cause some damage when you're pouring the molten metal into the foam. When the container is full, vibrate it to give maximum compaction of the sand, and then add two pouring cups right on top. I like to add additional sand to really lock in the pouring cups so they don't fall over when I pour the molten metal into them. A few weeks ago, I made this. I actually made a few of them, and this one did not come out as planned. In the video, I asked the viewers what they think, what they think I should do with it, because like I said, the ends are rounded and not pointy like they're supposed to be. And somebody suggested, which was Steve SRT8, that I should just leave it the way it is and paint it. And I actually thought that was a great idea, so that's why you see it the way it is. Now, this is another mold that I made up about two weeks ago. I don't even know what it is. So today we're gonna find out what I made the sand mold of. Now that the temperature has risen to about a thousand degrees, now I'm going to really turn up the air and get this fired up. Let's start melting the metal.
it looks like everything came out perfect. So now I'm just gonna cut off the spruce from these, sand them down, and I'll come back to you and show you what they look like. All right, guys, here we go. Another Heinrichs made coin. That's it. That's exactly what I thought this was, but I wasn't really sure, um, you know, being that I made the mold like two weeks ago. But that's another one of my coins. I have a Heinrichs made recycle ingot here. This would be the second one. This one came out really good. And again, I made these early on probably about a year ago, whenever the last video I did when I made one of these, that's when I made these, I just never made, I made them out of foam, I never made them out of aluminum. Now this one by the H&M, this was actually a defect in the carving of the foam. This is, that was not a defect in the aluminum casting, uh, but I'm happy with it, still looks good. This one's a little bit thicker than this one. Um, stick around, I'm gonna weigh these and see what they weigh. All right, guys, let's see. Let's see what we got here. This would be the thinner one. This one is going to weigh 5.7 ounces. And the thicker one is gonna weigh 7.5055, 7.55 ounces. All right, guys, as usual, if you liked the video, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video.